Okay, so I decided just to make one simple animation here to start. Uh, it's going to take me some time to make the other ones. So as you can see, he just does a crawl. And that will loop. He starts in the same spot and ends in the same spot. So that will be continuous. Um, so now let's work on getting this guy exported to the engine. Um, there's a few things we need to do. First, I'm going to open the container explorer here. And what I did was I had my line. I don't know if you'll have a line in yours. Snakes need the spline AK. You're, if you have like a chicken or whatever, I'm, I doubt they use splines. So I just, to, to make sure that doesn't go in the engine, I just put a, an underscore in front of it. And same with the points. And uh, I have a snake. I have a snake uh, mesh and a tongue mesh. And I haven't exported two meshes at the same time before. Uh, I might need to fix that later, but if we just export the snake mesh to start with, it'll work. So we put that, we select that, and what we're going to do is save this into game, objects, characters, animals, and then set up a folder for your own. In this case, this is snake monk, so that'll be my file path. And then I'll just export nodes. It already exists for me, but I'm going to re-export it. So that works fine. Uh, make sure these settings are correct. Actually, I don't know if you need to merge all nodes or export per node. Mm, well, we'll see. It doesn't matter at the moment. Um, okay, next you need to export uh, your cap, your animation file. So. I set up my, I have just one animation, I set up the range, it's 1 to 31. So I just click that, save that, and we're going to export file per range down here. And make sure that uh, your backbone is called BIP01 and it's at the highest level. So all the bones are linked underneath it. And then this will work fine. If you have it set up incorrectly, it won't let you export it from there. So we just click export bones and when you export it you're going to export the calf. It's exporting the calf file and that will be stored in the animations. So it's your game folder animations uh, animals here for boids is where all the boids are stored and then make your own folder. In my case it's this. So it already exists for me. It's all right. We'll rewrite it. And we're done with that. Now, there's a couple things we need to set up. We need to set up a Lua file, an entity file, and uh, a CHR params file. So first, your CHR params, uh, I'll, I'll try to include the file with this tutorial. And then you can just modify it as you go. So each animation here will get a, 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 its own name. In this case, I only have one, so I set it up. And I named it walk underscore loop. And I believe, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe with voids it has some conventional names. So walk loop, it'll have like a walk loop, it has idle, it has, uh, I think it has a swim, or one or two swims. And um, what else? And I think there's a couple of others you, ha you can check into. I think one is scared, so if it's scared it does a, a different animation, or if you pick it up or whatever. And you might be able to define these uh, on your own in a Lua file, but for for now we'll just export a walk loop. Um, so that will be saved in the same folder as your CHR params file. So save as. So in game objects characters animals snake monk, just save and I'll replace my own. Um, next, we have to set up a Lua file. So what you can do is if you scroll. So you can find them in, where can you find them? In the game, scripts, entities, boids folder. There's already some examples, crabs, frogs, chickens, turtles. Uh, and as you can see, uh, I'm going to base mine off the crabs lua, just because the crabs lua actually inherits from the chickens lua. So the chickens file is this. It has several properties, like these are properties that you'll see in the editor. 
and it has a lot of stuff set up. And instead of redoing all that, we just go. Crab's law actually uses a make derived entity and bases it off the chickens file. So we'll just copy this and paste it into a new file. And you want to name it here the name of your void. And because you can see the properties, there's no properties set up uh, individually. We can set some up if we want additional ones. However, I don't really want one those at this time. And it, what it will do is just inherit from all of the chickens file. And sounds I don't have yet, but it's okay. Uh, animations, these are some of the animations we have. I just have the walk loop set up, but we can leave these here for now. Uh, the bug.bmp is just the name, it's just the, the icon that will show up when you actually place uh, when you place your void in the editor. And that's good. So we save that out to the same location. The voids folder here, game, scripts, entities, voids. Where the crabs law. And a couple more things to do actually. Um, in the animation CBA, this is in your game animations folder. As you can see here, game animations. There's uh, there's several voids already set up. So if you scroll down to the to around the bottom, there's going to be uh, different definitions already. You can see here toad, fish, rooster, example. Just copy one of those and and paste it here. I did so right here. And set up something like this. I'll include this file as well. Uh, no, I won't include this file actually. This is you're going to have your own already set up, so you need to do this by yourself. Um, but you can pretty much just see from here. Just pause it and copy and paste into your own file, and save that out. And the last thing to do is see so we have the CHR param set up. It will be an entity. So as you can s if you go to your CryEngine, uh, this is CryEngine, CryEngine Entities folder, not the game, but the CryEngine Entities, you'll, you'll see a bunch of different entities. And what I did was I just scrolled down and found chicken. You can find frog or whatever. I just found chickens, and this is all that's in it. And all it does is tell the engine that, hey, there's a new entity that can be placed in the level. So we just copied this and pasted it in a new file. I don't have it open, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Oops. And the name is the name of your .chr file, minus the .chr. And the name of the Lua file. So, we'll save this. Now this needs to be saved in the game entities folder and you probably won't have one uh, yeah. but you just set one up in your game folders it's called entities go in there and save it I already have one saved but I'll resave this one and that should be done I don't know if I cover the CHR params or not but uh, this goes in your .chr file and just copy something similar to this so that's done with the files. We exported everything. And now you open the editor, open a level, and you'll see in entities, voids, you now have, we now have the snake monk. So I'll go ahead and I'll place this in here. And get rid of the chickens. And I had a snake monk test earlier. so. So nothing shows up, of course, which it should. Let's take a look here. Ah, it has... Oh, because we made it a derived class off the chickens, it, it actually placed chickens in the level. 
So we can change that in the little file, but here I'm just going to change it in the model. So I'm going to go find our CHR model. 